I'm going to do a review over my first aid kit. It took me a, probably about six months to make this first aid kit. I carry it in my truck with my truck camper all the time. So it's pretty extensive. Probably some of it is a little bit more than first aid. But I tried to probably think of anything and everything that could happen um, out on the road. It does contain some medications. I want to start probably every year or every other year going through it and just making sure that it's supplied and that I haven't removed things out of it and not replenished it. Also, there's some Benadryl, Advil, things like that that probably have expired and I need to go ahead and buy some new and add to this kit. Um, I'll probably start putting a piece of paper or notebook in there when I have changed out the medications because I don't put a whole bottle in there. I just put a bag full of the medications. I do carry a snake bite kit in the door of my truck. Don't always carry it on the trail. This is my first aid kit. So I keep a CPR mouthpiece on the external of the kit and this is a pouch that folds out into two smaller zipper bags and then a bigger zipper bag. So um, what I'll do is I have just a notebook here Oops. that I will make a note of if I need to replenish anything and then go to the store and get that. I'm going to go through this really fast because there is lots of stuff in here. Benadryl. Eye drops. Anti-diarrhea. Cough drops. Tylenol cold medicine. This is fire starters, cotton balls, and Vaseline. A can opener, a P25, an eyedropper. This is a little towelette, sunblock, chigger removal, Rolaids, Robitussin DM, oral antiseptic gel, ibuprofen, cold medicine, safety pins. This is an antacid. First aid instructions first aid card, a whistle, these are water purification tablets, a thermometer, repel, tweezers, a lighter, matches, new skin, and this is a sewing kit and a flashlight. This is a playing card with some duct tape and a needle. Okay, the second pouch is mostly bandages. So I have all kinds. That's a patch. This is tin, junior. This is sting relief. This is a sterile gauze, a butterfly. Some, these are little butterflies. A knuckle bandage, a sterile pad, a triple antibiotic cream, alcohol cleansing pad, some bigger bandages, some hand sanitizer, some towelettes, just some cotton balls, some more band-aids, some gauze, gauze, that one's been open, so I'll probably need to get rid of that. A disposable wipe. Here's some more moist pellets. Some more gauze. Some tape. Some gloves. Some more tape. Some scissors. Some Q-tips. More tape. A tongue depressor. Mole skin. Okay, that's all in that compartment. Okay, in the big pouch, 
outdoor wound care. I have two sets, three sets. Actually, these are six of the hand warmers, which I've used these working on the trail this winter, so I will probably need to replenish some of those. If you, This is used for loose caps or fillings out in the field. I have some masks, some little toothbrushes. This is a wrist support. Stingies is a water purifier, water filter, burn cream, a finger and a thumb splint, and some emergency drinking water, some eye wash, an ace bandage, contact solution. I have emergency survival blanket, just a bandana, a ice pack, some more masks, some bigger gauze pads, a Sam splint, so in case you hurt your arm or your leg, a poncho, rain poncho. Uh, this is just a sign you can put out in front of your, on your windshield if you need help. Some burn gel dressings. I think that's it.